Hi, today we're going to talk about house plants for low light. House plants really are great because they increase productivity at the office, they increase your well being at home, and some of these are really great for cleaning the air. So, some of our favorites today are the spider plant. The spider plant has really graceful arching stems, the color is wonderful, and it's very forgiving and undemanding. Another plant that's just a true classic is the philodendron and the pothos. They're kind of cousins. And so they come in green and gold and striped kinds. It's really neat to see them trail across, say, a desk or a bookcase. Another plant, one of our favorites, is Photonia. Photonia comes in usually a pink or a red or a white and a very forgiving. You can forget to water it here and there. And then when you remember, give it a little drink and then it'll come right back for you. So take a look for Photonia. One of my very favorites is the Crispy Wave Fern. It's like a little miniature bird nest fern. It's ruffly leaves, uh, help get the uh, pollutants out of the air. Water it once a week, a little bit. Not a real big chore for you. The Dracaena is a uh, real classic plant that's been around a long time. Very forgiving, very tolerant of lots and lots of light conditions. Stress, not a problem. Now the snake plant here is also called Sansevieria, or mother-in-law's tongue. It comes in slightly different colors, but it's very upright, very durable, and actually it's like a succulent. It holds its moisture in the leaves, so it makes it extremely tolerant of all kinds of light conditions. Almost takes care of itself. Take a look for some of these low light plants and let us help you find your green thumb. 